Kim.com was spied on illegally. What Kim.com ran is just a service that's like a post office. He was the post office that was being mailed through. Why do you shut down the post office thinking that's where the problem is? Kim.com is a larger-than-life internet entrepreneur who has become increasingly controversial within the past two years. Kim is a high-rolling businessman who made a reported $175 million off of a website called Mega Upload, a service that provided a fast and simple way to transmit large files over the internet. Unfortunately for Kim, the US government, the New Zealand government, and even Hollywood alleged that the website was being used for criminal purposes. His house was raided just one day after SOPA, the Stop Online Piracy Act, died in the US Congress. One year after the raid, his assets are still frozen and he is still under house arrest. We're in New Zealand, we're just north of Auckland, and we're heading to Kim.com's mansion. We're told that Kim is heading to the recording studio today in Auckland, and he's gonna be working with some producers to make some music. I'm hoping that I can uh, get in there and do some backup vocals, or uh, maybe even help him on a song. Uh, I think I can see it, I can see it! It says mega on the lawn. Dot com mansion. He's, uh, he said that he's dedicating his life to fighting for internet freedom. He's a big, crazy, rich guy who does crazy things. Uh, this is scary. When you walk in the kitchen and you see the aquarium over the stove, the only thing I can say is it's crazy. Every, every other sentence out of my mouth I try to make, it's just, you know what, this is ridiculous. Here's what I was thinking about earlier. Sean Parker. He works on a service specifically built to pirate. He's worth an estimated $2.1 billion today. He was even, at one point, accused of possessing drugs. You've never been accused of possessing drugs. Uh, you've never built a service specifically with the intent, or as, as you said, not with the specific intent of piracy. It was just to file a locker online. Mm -hmm. But the governments are coming after you. Well, it's interesting how times have changed, right? How important copyright is today. The fact that they used the NSA and PRISM to spy on me, the massive raid that happened here, you know, with two helicopters, 72 people on the ground with machine guns, with attack dogs. This is a power play. These are people who are high up in the executive who said, we are going to use every weapon in our arsenal to destroy this guy. You go to any ISP like Verizon or Comcast and you ask them, you know, honestly, how much of your traffic do you think is piracy? And they will tell you to your face, you know, up to 50%. Let's go check out the, the grounds. The grounds, okay. And uh, then this one. Hold on. <laughs> you broke my house. <laughs> the compound is so massive that you'd need to take a golf cart just to get to the guest house. I like the giraffe. Is that a Segway? Can I ride yeah. your Segway? Yeah, go ahead, man. Grab it. <laughs> Holy shit. Oops. This is not easy. All right. I'm getting the hang of it. Here he comes. You made it work, man. So how fast can this thing go? Oh, it can go fast. But hey, don't fall down, man. My case is not just important for me and my family and my co-defendants. It's important for the whole internet and the whole world. It was going to hurt the creative industry. I had NBC uh, Chicago actually do a report. My friends and I were covering the NATO protests. Okay. And we got surrounded at gunpoint, black vehicles, SUVs, took us out, took our credit card numbers, our names, IDs, interrogated us. Well, it then you know firsthand what kind of stupid world we're living in today, where the government is taking over. And yeah. the government is supposed to serve us, the people. We are paying with our taxes that they do a good job for us. And look what they do. They undermine our uh, rights. They destroy our freedoms. They censor our internet. So we are the ones who have to bring that change. And that's why I get involved in politics, because I'm fucking tired of this nonsense, you know? Someone needs to stand up and change that. So uh, are, are we all gonna be on a list now? You're all fucked. <laughs> Kim.com also has a bunch of other strange accolades under his belt, 
In the mid-90s, he pioneered flash animation on the internet. He also invented a way to do video conferencing over a cell phone in 1999, a time when most people didn't even have cell phones. And at the time of the raid, he was the number one Call of Duty player in the world. Who are you? What are you doing? What is this? <laughs> I'm uh, just, uh, you know, a, a guy who loves to do new stuff, you know? Yeah. I just enjoy what I'm doing. Is this your Xbox room? Or? No, no, no. No, we need to go. go. All right, yeah. let's go check it out. As he walked me to his Xbox room, Kim showed me around his home recording studio. Here's my little home music studio. Ooh, you have a so, guitar in here? So when I'm not in the recording studio, this is where I make music. So, you know, I have a, uh, the Avid uh, here. I use nice. Pro Tools. You know, I hook up the keyboard and then I just sit here and uh, come up with some beats. Yeah, those are really nice speakers. Yeah, yeah, I was like, wow. Yeah, love it. Nice. Okay, let me take you to the Xbox room. Is that, yeah. is so that this you? Is the Xbox room. The family comes together here, you know, Mona's little brothers, they play as well. We have five uh, setups here and then we all play against each other. Modern Warfare? Modern Warfare, Halo, Forza, you know, I'm also into car racing, so. Do you Everything. have GTA 5? Yeah, man, I finished it already. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn. Can we, can we, can we play for a second? Uh, well, not now. We could do it tomorrow. So yeah, let yeah, them tomorrow. set okay. it all up uh, yeah, yeah. and then we play tomorrow. And then uh, yeah. can we, we can do like a multiplayer and I can, I can shoot you. And... Yeah, that's not going to happen. I no? Mean, we, <laughs> we can do the multiplayer, but you will die. <laughs> if we played uh, Modern Warfare, I'd, yeah. I'd be like slowly spinning around and then dead. And then I'd, I'd spawn and be like, OK, dead. <laughs> Well, I've just done a really cool event here in New Zealand in the Vector Arena. Uh, you know, it's like an E3 gaming convention, and I played against 100 uh, New Zealanders. They could come and challenge me. And, uh, you know, it was a whole day of me playing one-on-ones against uh, some really good players, and only one managed to beat me out of 100. What, what did he win? Uh, he won a big prize from, you know, big LG screen, oh, wow. audio system, yeah, price is worth $10,000. You didn't throw it just, you know, and then he paid you off? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, normally, like, a gamer reaches number one, they get yeah. press and, like, you know, people are really excited. Yeah. But, you know, you've already, you know, you've already... Yeah, but it, it's, it's the fame in the community, you yeah, know? Yeah, That's yeah. what really matters, that all these other players who play competitive, they see you go up the ranks. And then they see you're number one and they're like, wow, you know, this is cool. I want to play that guy. And the moment I became number one, I mean, my Xbox message window was like, bing, 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 bing. Everyone just sends you a message. Everyone sends you a friend request. And it's like nonstop blinking of people who want to know you, you know, who want to be your friend. Do, do you think that the skills you've acquired playing these, these first person shooters will increase your chance of survival in a zombie apocalypse? <laughs> Yes, I think so. All right, great. I, I want to know how to handle this, zombies. This, this is where I imagine I would be when the zombies do come. You know, yeah. you've, got, you've got a compound. You, you've got excessive simulation training, firing weapons. I'll just, yeah. I'll be in here playing GTA while you take care of the zombies. Well, I survived an anti-terrorism style raid. You know, <laughs> that's, with, that's with, right. With really heavy ammunition and arms and all of that. I and mean, what is a zombie apocalypse against the raid <laughs> that I have survived? So you know, I'm fine. Yeah. Well, you want maybe we sit down here for two minutes. Everybody has to fight for their privacy, like you were saying, but it seems like the fight you've got on a personal level is just, just crazy. Yeah, the big revelation that was already out there with the Prime Minister of New Zealand was apologizing uh, was the spying by the GCSB, which is a member of the Five Eyes Spy Club that uh, is the United States, UK, Australia, Canada, and New Zealand. Now, there will be another court case in April next year. We want to know exactly what, what data they have on me. We want to know how they have collected it. Because if they use this anti-terrorism spy network, they use this massive power to spy on someone who is a tech geek, an innovator who builds websites. That just shows you how uh, wrong their excuses are. Imagine you have a leader sometime in the future who abuses such a system to crack down on all his opponents and turn this into a totalitarian 
uh, tool. Everyone should be really passionate about their privacy and solutions like Mega. And that's why I'm doing it, you know, because I don't uh, agree with these intrusions into our lives. Who is still trusting uh, any US tech company? Who is still putting anything on any Google site or, uh, you know, uh, Microsoft or whatever, Apple, without thinking that the US government has access to that, to basically eliminate the basic human right to privacy for the entire world population. And that's why more and more companies that are doing internet business are not going to locate in the US anymore. The NSA has triggered the biggest uh, destructive event for the US tech industry. And that also shows you how important this case is for the White House, you know, how politically important it was for them to have all this information and use these spy tools on me because an election depended on it. You want to tell me about these pictures you got here? No. <laughs> no? Is it a secret? Uh, it's just, you know, it's the good times. It's yeah. the good times. You know, now my priorities have shifted, you know, before what really meant a lot to me was yeah, like racing around in cool cars and being on a yacht in the Mediterranean or flying around in private jets. And now all I look forward to is see my kids, play with my kids, you know, have fun with them, driving around the property. And uh, I think I wouldn't do a lot of the crazy things that I've done in my 20s now simply because I want to be there for my kids, you know. Until this case is resolved, this future of my children is really what I'm fighting for. The, the new service you launched, Mega, the, the files that users upload are encrypted. So the, you guys can't see what they're, what they're sharing. That's right. Uh, so you say that, you know, it's about privacy, it's about the, the user's rights, but others argue that it's just a way to give yourself protection against the same issue that came up with Mega Upload. And what we made possible is that everyone who is using the internet today can look for a solution that allows them to upload their data into the cloud and do it in a safe way by basically integrating it all into the browser on the fly so the user doesn't have to do anything, doesn't have to even understand encryption. And just by using our site, our users know that their data is safe. And that is something completely new. And that is what I think was required to take encryption mainstream. But uh, in half a year, we are releasing communication products. So we will become a communication provider like Skype, but everything fully encrypted. So you can chat, you can message, you can do video calls or phone calls using the mega platform. And you can be sure that all your calls and all your data that you transmit will be completely encrypted point to point on the fly without us as a provider or anyone else having any opportunity to get access to your data. Mega launched with encryption service yeah. before the NSA revelations. Yes. How did you know? I knew. <laughs> As we made our way to a recording studio in Auckland, I started to realize that this wasn't the comic book villain that the government made him out to be, but a genuine businessman who was pushed to start standing up for people's rights on the internet. When I was like 19 to 20, I just was traveling around the, the U.S. playing music. Uh -huh. Seattle, Denver, whatever. Okay. Finding like a little spot in our internet freedom song. So I want to put both of them in the, in the booth later, just for half an hour, you know, see what they come up with. Sure, no huh? problem. And you know, when they seized assets, they didn't just come to my place and seized my cars. They closed my bank accounts and all of that. They also sent a SWAT team to my mother in Germany and took her car. They blocked off the road uh, to her house and then some man with, uh, you know, MP5s knocked at her door and said, uh, we're here to pick up your car and, you know, gave her a document with a list of items and then they took them. I don't think anyone reported that. I think this is the first time I'm sharing it. It's one thing to arrest you, make accusations, and then you have to stand trial for them. Yeah. But to shut down a company before a verdict has been reached in a criminal trial. Well, they have basically uh, made the verdict already and, uh, you know, said 
these guys are guilty and we're going to destroy everything that they have created and on top of it, we're going to seize everything that they own. Well, Chris Dodd uh, was a senator for 30 years, and Joe Biden, the vice president, is calling Chris Dodd his best friend. And when Dodd resigned as a senator, even though he said he would never work in the lobbying industry, uh, immediately after he left the Senate, he started working for the MPAA and became the chairman of the most powerful lobbying group in the United States. And it's Chris Dodd's relationship and his cloud in the White House that made all of this happen. Technology and content are not adversaries. And we need adults around talking about it instead of having a swarm of bees every time someone talks about protecting copyright. I mean, if there's any idea of conflict of interest, you know, this is probably as close as it gets. Do you have any ideas of what you want yeah, to do? Yeah, so the idea was these guys are working on an internet song, and I hope uh, Giselle came up with a line or something for you guys. Okay. Uh, so that she we can, can, can we record something for this internet song? Hopefully I can do it. Make it really simple. You better be good. <laughs> you know what? The song is going to come out and they're going to be like, there's something about this song that makes it the best song ever. It's ah, like, then it would what? be you. <laughs> um, can we try singing just, uh, freedom's what we are. Freedom's what we are fighting for. Uh, freedom's what we are. Freedom's what we are fighting for. Well, you've heard it, folks. This is a, it's an official championship match. <laughs> Kim tells me that I'm playing on this machine. That this is my this is my TV, and it's the, the character is a woman. So now he keeps calling me a woman, telling me I'm bad at driving. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> you are. Bad but at I driving. got I got revenge because he asked me to meet him on friendly terms so we could team up, and I killed him. Yeah, that wasn't nice. And let the masses see your talent and your gift. You know, if you limit it all and put it in the control and in the hands of a handful of content uh, uh, conglomerates of large monopolies, then you do not have this exposure. You have to play by their rules and you have to uh, you know, live in a, in a world that is censored. The trip was totally surreal. So hopefully, this isn't the last we see of Kim.com. Ha <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>